Okay, and welcome back to creating a flyer using Photoshop. We have just a couple more steps left. We're going to go over brushes now. As you can see here, we have a brush splatter here in our original flyer and a little brush splatter here. And I'm going to show you how to create that. Let's go ahead and deselect that and show you the brush that I created that was kind of similar to that one. Which is right here. So let's go ahead and add a new layer. We're going to go over to the brush palette, which you can find the brush palette here under Windows or Window. Come down to Brush. That'll open your brush palette. If you um, close it, you'll see your brush palette will also be here. That's one way to open it. Another way to open it is to come over to your brush tool, click that, and then you'll have a brush palette up here also. So you can go ahead and click that, and that'll also activate your brushes. The, or the actual brush that I'm looking for is not here yet. I'm looking for this splatter brush. So I'm going to show you how to load a new brush. Along the way, you'll, you'll find that you'll collect a lot of brushes, and at some point you'll have to reset it and, and kind of like isolate your brushes. So let's go ahead and find that brush that I had before. I'm going to come up here to this little arrow here. Just pretty much tells you that there's other things behind it that you can you can uh, access. I'm going to click that. I'm going to come down to load brushes, and then it's going to go into the folder where I have most of my brushes located. I'm going to come down to splatter. Click that once and open, or you can either double click it, and then that'll bring my new brushes down to the bottom of my brush list here. And the brush that I'm going to use is this one here 453 I don't think it's coming up too good on the screen right now but trust me it is there it's kinda of big right now so what I'm gonna do is press the left bracket key to make it smaller I think I went over that before or the right bracket key to make it bigger we're gonna go right about there and make sure your foreground is on the color that you wanna select which in this case we're gonna go with a black brush we have a new layer we're gonna click one time and there's your brush now, in order to make this brush a gradient like we have this one here, we're going to have to activate this brush on, on this layer. So just as we've done before, we're going to press Control and click and activate that layer. Now, we go over to the gradient tool, select it, and as you can see, we already used kind of those colors from the last time, but let's go ahead and just do that all over again. What you want to do is press the left stop activate it and get a color that you want. I'm going to get this color here, press OK, and your right stop, double click, get this green that we wanted, press OK, and select OK again. And since your brush is already activated with the marching ants, all you have to do now is click on the top of the brush, press Shift, and drag down, and let go of your mouse. Now let's go to the move tool and we have our brush with a gradient in it. If I uh, want to change that and see it has mostly uh, green right there, I want some more yellow, all I have to do is go back over to the palette, come down to like around the middle of the uh, brush there and bring it down and I have a little bit more yellow right there. Alright, now let's go back to the move tool and bring it down to around where that original brush was. Right about there and we can go ahead and deselect that by pressing control D and now the layer below it we don't need it anymore because we just created a new brush so we can go ahead and delete that one. and now let's look at the rest of the photo go ahead and right click show hide this is probably the easiest way to do it and as you can see my brush is right here and the brush splatter is right there that we just used Now, that was a pretty simple uh, tutorial on brushes. What we're going to do now, which is the last step, the last stage of uh, creating this flyer, by creating these stars that we have here. We're going to show the stars, and that's also going to be using brushes. So let's get to the next step.